Hi, I'm David Cooper from ePianos, and today I'm going to show you this is an Orla Medina. Some people call it Moderna or uh, Moderna, but it's M-O-D-E-N-A, Modena. Now, Medina is um, one of the very last of the organs from Orla, and the first thing that I spotted is it's actually a really rich, big sound. I've looked it up in the catalogue and it says it's got five different speakers and that helps it to be a very rich sound. But also it has this EQ system on here which does make a big difference. What you can do is you can make the, the treble or the bass of the sound um, more emphasised and that gives you a total different sound. So if I was playing, let's just go to one voice, we'll just go to a saxophone. Now if I put the treble up, I'm just changing the bass and the treble over. So you can blend those two controls to give the treble or the bass more uh, frequency and that will give you a, a very different sound. So with all the voices, we've got quite a lot of control just by these two sliders to get the sound that you want. So I've um, just got a saxophone on there and I'm going to leave them both about three quarters up, but you have got full control over that and it is worth considering how much difference that actually makes to lower models in the range that don't give you that control. But the speakers are better, it's a newer instrument, so that's going to make a big difference. Now then, one of the best things about the Aulas are over here on this section here. We've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, buttons, and each button gives us access to uh, 16 different voices. So each of these are going to give us a setup for the whole instrument. Uh, it does choose a style, but it chooses all the voices. So as an example, this is called Late Night Jazz. And that's just one setting. If I go to another button, Benson Bossa Nova. Um, George Benson guitar, jazz guitar sound, and it's just ready to go. So we've got 16 in each uh, of these buttons because the A and B gives us eight different sounds. So we've got an A and a B here, and whichever one you've chosen onto, that will give us a different set of eight. So 16 from the A and B on the eight buttons, and then all these buttons. So let's go through a few. Now the first section is overall presets. And I have to say this sort of brought some nostalgia back. Uh, my first job was working in a music shop in uh, 1982 as a 15-year-old Saturday boy, and my boss used to play on a Saturday morning with the door open, and he'd play some sort of bossa nova stuff, and the organ sounds, this just reminded me of that uh, sort of Farfisa sound, or the Lowry sound from from um, 80s, and it was really quite nostalgic. So we've got on here, if I go to the overall presets, and we go into here, we've got, um, let's see what we've got. <laughs> Different sort of nice organ sounds as we go along. Theatre. If I go to the bottom section, so if I press the A to go to B, we've now got some different ones. Piano on both keyboards. Next one. This is nice vocal. So just nice sweet sounds. Now the other buttons are going to be more categorised. So the first one is 
all the flute bars. And my first sound is a blues organ. If we go through, we've got um, Jimmy Smith. And then we go a bit further on, I've got um, American Theatre, Electric Circle Organ. And number one, a flute, these are nice flute sounds. see I'm just touching one button everything's set up to go now at the moment I'm playing my pedals if I go to the rhythm section I've got an automatic setup button and that gives me a whole setup to suit um, the voices that I've chosen so if I go to um, let's just go to uh, Foxtrot and I press my automatic setup button now don't need to worry about my pedals anymore nice again full sound let's go to a different one let's go to swing band got my full setup button now what this is doing is it's giving me a harmony feature so whenever I play my chord it's making my big right hand sound even fuller If I get over my chords, one note, so it's filling it out for me. Now sometimes that's wonderful. In that case, it was a bit too overpowering. So we can we can get rid of the closed harmony, and now I won't have the, the full sound. So each of the settings are going to include things like the. The, uh, the extra chords for your melody coming through. So they're, sometimes they're called Technichord or AOC or um, Melody on Chord. And what it was doing for me, it was giving me a, an extra few notes in my melody just because I'm playing a chord with my left hand. Now sometimes when you're playing that it sounds a bit too muddy. So you can move up to the octave above and then it won't sound so bad. So if you hear it when I'm playing lower down, it's a bit too low, so I'll go up an octave. Now if I turn it off now and turn that feature off altogether, although it was coming in my setting, it will just be solo notes. So you can kind of decide if you want the whole of the setting or certain parts of it are not quite how you want it to be, but you've got hundreds. So you can go into that one single button, everything's set up for you, and then you can just decide whether you want to tweak anything. Now, each rhythm style has three different style variations. So if I go into, let's just go to a, a, a march rhythm, and I'm going to go, I'll turn the intro off, and we'll just play style bank A. We get a 2-4 march. If I go to style bank B, we then get a 6-8 march, so the rhythm will be a little bit different. And then if we go to the third one, it's a real 2-4, so this is going to be more Scottish, I expect. So that's just one, uh, one choice on the panel, that's called march. We've then got three variations for each of those uh, three different ones. So if we play that Scottish one on A, if I go to number two, 
extra rhythm coming in. And then number three. So there's, there's little bits of variations. We've actually got nine variations for every single uh, style that's listed on the panel here. So that gives us lots of options. So we've also got draw bars. Now the draw bars are, are turned on by the white button. So we've got a, a lower draw bar section over here. And then we've got a full set for the upper draw bars. And there, there are all these sliders. Now for those of you who don't uh, know a lot about the organs of the, the traditional organ, the draw bars are, are these sliders here. And what they do, they give us a different pitch. So the 16 foot draw bar pipe, okay, is um, a, basically a 16 foot pipe and we're playing it fairly central in the keyboard. Now if I half the pipe to an 8 foot pipe, it's exactly an octave lower. So the same note on an 8 foot, an octave higher on the 16 foot. Now what that means is when you're playing a selection, so if we go to 16, add the 8, and a 4, and a 2, and a 1, although I'm only playing one note, 1, 2, 3, five sounds are playing at once, and they're all an octave apart. So effectively, we're getting one more. But we can get it to come in by just playing lots of draw bars at the same time. Okay, now at the moment, they're, they're going through a, an effect which is making it whoa, 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 like a, a revolving speaker sound. But if I was to turn that back to slow, listen to the change. The chorale effect goes slower. Okay, so I can turn it off altogether, which is more sort of churchy. If I go chorale, the slow effect, then we've got the slow revolving speaker. If I go fast, it's much more theatre-y. Press the wrong button, sorry. So that revolving speaker is the big full sound. Now, we can also do some other things. We've got some other pitches. If you come a bit closer, you'll see we have the 16, 8, 4, 2, and 1, which are all pure flutes. They've got no fractions after them. But the ones with a the fraction, there's a 2 and a 2 third, a 5 and a third, 1 and 3 fifths, and 1 and a third. These are all going to be notes that aren't your standard note that you're playing. So if I was playing a, a C note, that's on an 8 foot flute, a C note, when I play the 5 and a third, it's coming out a G. So it's a little bit complicated, but a C note with the pure flute. This is what the G sounds like. And if I play the five and a third, the C will sound like a G. So that means that when I play, uh, let's say, three notes, and I play them with a five and a third, a different note comes through as well. And it, it's almost discordant, but it gives us that full sound. So if I play some more of these, discordant ones. So this is my, um, my full sound. And when I get rid of some of the, um, the smaller fraction ones, it sounds much smoother. So I can blend any of these, they all go up to eight, so I can blend them to get the sound I want. And when I have the unusual ones, they can actually sound quite discordant, but they make a big effect on the overall, and without them. So it's great to be able to experiment because it makes such a difference to the overall sound. And you've got the same in the lower keyboard, you've got five to choose from to give you lower voices that are different. So these are your white buttons. This is a flute here and here. Then we've got blue sections. The blue section is the one at the top. And these are pianos and they're strings, they're um, nylon guitar, harpsichord. And this is in this blue section. So we can have one of those mixed with the organs. And then we've got the, the yellow section. These are solo instruments like guitars, flutes, trumpets, trombones. And then we've got the green section, and these are orchestral instruments like vocal, brass, um, organs, jazz organs, accordions. And you can have up to one from each section. Now the beauty of it is that there's a, a user button on each section. If you come a bit closer, you'll see that at the bottom of this green section, for instance, 
we've got a button that says user and that allows us to have a different sound to the ones that all have chosen on the panel so the user button is currently set to clariv whatever that will be um, but we can go through and change that and we can put it to a, a different sound so um, we can we can decide on what voice recorder uh, but we can go through and choose that sound to be the sound that we want it to come through and you can have uh, two set all the time in each of the sections one uh, two there two here two there and again for the lower as well so that gives you more panel buttons to be able to choose from so the whole instrument is is very full of facilities and features I tend to find myself that I use the uh, the seven uh, batches of, of sounds and I use the the 16 variations just because it's so quick to get an overall sound but we can go in and we can break it down into organ sounds or organ with another voice we can use the rhythm section manually or if we use the automatic setup it plays the bass and does that for you I'll just show you a couple more voices if we go to the um, the church organ section and we pick one of those sounds there's some really lovely church sounds so this is American reed organ let's go a bit deeper classical trumpet Or if we go back to the first section, church organ. Don't forget we can change these two. full sounds. Uh, another one, theatre organ, let's go to cinema. That's another one, theatre brass. settings if we go to um, pro combo we've got the shadows and we go to mantra uh, harmony Now another thing we've got on the, uh, the Modena is that you have two USB ports. The first one is your traditional way to save and load in um, registrations and songs that you might have um, got from elsewhere or of your own that you've made. Uh, and this is a facility that is becoming on the very latest organs, because a lot of organs were floppy disk drive, but this is much faster, much easier to use, and this is built into it for loading in files from um, a USB but also we've got a newer a newer version of this which is showing it sort of um, how much more modern this is a lot of the organs that some of you might have got this has got a USB mp3 transfer and that allows you to have songs that you've recorded um, and you can take them off as an mp3 file or load in mp3 files to play back uh, through the organ so it gives you a more modern approach because um, these days MIDI files aren't quite as used and the, um, the audio and mp3 are a more up-to-date way of hearing the exact sound the organ made rather than the sound quality of whatever you're playing them back through. So we've got both an mp3 and a MIDI uh, recorder and playback through USB connections which just makes it a little bit more up-to-date. On the whole I love this instrument you've got just a single pedal octave um, which is plenty for what I need, a volume pedal down here and a sustain pedal which can be used as a foot switch as well but you can use that for your piano sustain there's two 61 note keyboards so plenty of range if you want to put a, a keyboard down or up you've got the the option to, to move both hands up or down um, this is in really nice condition this is the Orla Medina 
I hope you found the video useful. Do give us a ring on 01295 266788 if you want to have some questions answered on it. And our uh, website, epianos.co.uk, has a lot more details on it for you. Thanks for watching.